this XP is fire. <coughs> I hope I didn't get another copyright strike for that one. <laughs> anyway, this XP is actually like literally fire. Straight into the setup. The GUI setup looks like it's on fire. <laughs> the color scheme, the icons and stuff like the Windows Rosita Edgy 2009 V2. I'm assuming that this bootleg is from Egypt. See? Told you, it's from Egypt. The OOB video is also fire. <laughs> oh, the OOB too. Oh wait, the login screen also. <laughs> wow. After installing bloatware and stuff, finally, we can get into the desktop. I have no idea why the creator decided to just put that as the desktop background. I mean, well, it's okay, but well, definitely fire. <laughs> Icons such as my documents, my computer, my network places, and recycle bin are using Vista or 7. Is this what trying to look like Vista or 7 or just want to use the icons because it's a very nice looking icon? Well, <laughs> I don't know, you can judge for that one. Looking at the taskbar, it screams a bit similar color tune to Zune's color tune. And moving to the right, of course, since this is made by Egypt, the AMPM indicator has been changed to this, well, whatever this is. <laughs> moving to the start menu, and boy, that's not much of a change from this XP's version. Well, yeah, it uses a different theme and icon, which again, from Windows Vista. But apart from no user account picture and the power of computer log of text are removed, the control panel displays applets and items as a list rather than just pushing a button to spawn it. Opening Windows Explorer, you get what Windows XP and Windows Explorer usually like, well, except disks are now displaying the storage bar, and more icons are transformed into Windows Vistas. Speaking of that, Window Layout in this theme is loosely following Windows Vistas. Well, even though the color and other stuff lean more into Zoom theme from Windows XP instead. Okay. Now, the bootleg is less fiery than what we see earlier. Yeah, that that makes me scratch my head a little. Moving on to the control panel, I noticed that this bootleg removes the ability to use Category View. Oh, no is elf this bootleg. Opening some more applets in here, HPSB format tool, wait, this kind of feature is bundled within Windows XP by default. Why would you need another program to do it? Well, for noobs? Hell no, nah, bro. HW monitor, which is supposed to show hardware within the machine, but it displays nothing. Either running inside a virtual machine breaks the program, or the program is just dumb as crap. Mem test, which is a memory test program, not bundled in Windows XP. Virtual CD-ROM control panel, which I assume this is for mounting ISO file. Windows Installer Cleanup, which shows you lists of programs that you can uninstall. Startup control panel, which lets you do configurations related to Windows Startup. Alright, let me pause this video first. Zoom into the user account. There are two user accounts. I can guess that the first one is the default XP look one, and the second one is the classic NetPLWiz. Is this a recurring theme for bootlegs spawning two user accounts at once? Well, sure, I'll take a note for that one for future bootlegs. Well, <laughs> okay, continue to the last applet, win updates list for list updates installed in this bootleg. Next, system applications. Calculator hasn't been changed. Notepad is changed to Notepad++. Well, wow, I didn't expect that one in the first place. Is this really replacing the default notepad? Well, by checking the system32 and well, double-clicking the notepad, sure enough, it opens back to notepad++. For the rest, it's just, well, the boring part. Paint, nothing change. Windows Explorer, which we have taken a look at earlier. Woodpad also has no changes from its original state. Looking at one of the system applications, Windows Beta Player has been upgraded to Windows 11. Oh yeah, also don't forget about Internet Explorer 8. And for sample media, yeah, only sample pictures are present, no sample music and no sample Windows Movie Maker project. 
right clicking my computer icon shows many additional options like some control panel applets and power options. Wow, Razita AG XP SP3 by That's Me. Well, who's me? Oh yeah, there it is, the name at the bottom. And also there's a support information. Wait, what the heck? Yeah, well, just that. Get out of here. Excluding the default Windows XP, this mod comes with three themes by default. Lunar Element Black, which I am using right now. 7VGRC, which, well, wait. This theme also exists in the Windows 7 Genius 2010. <laughs> oh yeah, the last one is Vista XP Black. Switching to the desktop tab, apparently, all default backgrounds from Windows XP has been changed to whatever the creator puts it to. Okay, I don't want to just comment on this, I'll let you be the judge for it. Switching to the screensaver, you will get to additional screensavers. Fish and Rosita. Oh yeah, I also got the time to customize around window themes too. Last but not least, some of the user account pictures are changed to also whatever the creator put, <laughs> whatever the creator wants to put it with. Moving on, by spawning run dialog and running WinVer, this is based on Windows XP Service Pack 3. Well, again, either XP or 7 is just the gold mine for bootlegs. Oh yeah, we haven't looked at some bloodware that we have installed. Here they are, Foxit Reader, IDM, which I already know this is cracked. Media Player Classic, a QuickTime properties without the QuickTime itself. <laughs> Another Media Player Classic for absolutely pointless reason. Windows Live Messenger, and WinRA that's cracked. At this point, I'd rather encourage people to buy the license or just use it uncracked. You get 40 days of trial anyway. Yeah, truly trial period. Great, this is yet another bo pointless bootleg which sarcastically trains the creativity of so many people by putting as much as bloatware as possible and putting so many pointless additional items as possible. <laughs> I hope a bootleg that I showcase next will not be disappointing me too much like this one. But anyway, credit to Crossing Windows for providing the bootleg and I can't comprehend myself to just...